Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I am going to be planning or setting up my planner for June. So I have my monthly spread that I'm going to be pre-planning for the month, all the things that are happening. And then I am going to um, figure out the sticker books I plan on using for my spreads and set up my social media planner. So I have this little book right here. I put, I did this in another video, but I put all of the um, sticky notes that I have in, on, on dividers, actually on covers, and have them all have them all in one place. So I've been pulling from here uh, the sticky notes that I need. So I'm just gonna stick sticky notes where I need them. I do have. There are some important things happening this month. So, let's see, I will use this one. Oh, actually, you know what? I've really been liking using Heather's. Heather's boxes have been really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna use Heather's. So, I'm gonna use the blue one because on the 30th, it is my, my brother and my sister's birthdays on this day. So I'm gonna get a pen. I'm gonna put 30 in the corner and then I'm gonna put Lorenzo and Vanessa's birthday. Okay, they are the only June birthday. All right, and then I do wanna note that summer begins because I usually like to do a summer spread that week. So that is the 21st summer I'm not excited about summer but i'm going to do a summer spread i have a lot of cute summer books to use so i am excited to use those in my planners uh all right and then the ninth i'm going to disneyland oh we're actually going to disneyland this day too because my sister wants to go for her birthday uh and then this day I'm going to Disneyland, Disney day. So I have the day off too, so I'm gonna go that day. And then, that's all that's really happening in June that I wanna note. No other birthdays. Yeah, okay. So that is good for June. Now the other things I wanna note are just some bills. I'm trying to use up these sticky notes, okay. So I have this one, I'm gonna put, I have two bills due this month, or this week, sorry, this day. So I'm gonna note that one and then on the 10th, I have a bill. And then the 14th, and the 8th. I keep putting the cap back on on this pen. Okay. And then uh, the other bill I have. Okay. I just put my big ones. That, I like to know my big ones on my monthly in my planner. Okay. Not much going on on this side of the page. So that'll be fun when I'm decorating for this side. Like no boxes really. Um, oh, I know where I'm gonna put. I do have paydays that I wanna note. Hmm. Oh, I need to work on this, getting all my pink boxes together because um oh actually all my other colors too because 
that's going to be super helpful to start using that. I just haven't had time. Okay, so I'm going to put, I'm going to use these because I have a bunch of these. Okay. So these are going to note my paydays. So I only have four paydays this month because in May I had five. So that was nice. At least from my full time job. So these are all the paydays. And then I can see, like, okay, this payday, I can. Because I do cash envelopes and um, I plan on doing, oh, I plan on doing a budget planner setup for June. And I usually keep like a certain amount in my checking to cover these bills that come out automatically. Um, so it's nice to see like, okay, I get paid this day. So I have this bill, this bill. And then if there's any other like small like subscriptions that come out too, I'll have those noted as well in my budget planner. But yeah, it's nice to see like which bills. That way I only have like, I do have like a big buffer in my checking um, to cover all these other bills that come out of my account. Mm. Okay, this day has a bill due or a payday, and this day too. Okay, so that is it for my setup on my monthly. Now, next, I'm going to figure out the spreads. Okay, so I already know for this one, I'm doing a summer spread. So the 21st is going to be summer. I'll use these right here. And that way I don't forget, like, okay, I have to do summer spread. One thing that happened where I forgot that it sweet. I always like to do a seasonal spread when the season changes. And I think one time I forgot to note it and then I forgot to do a spread until I started seeing other people post their spreads. And then I realized, oh no, I totally missed it. Okay, going to Disney on the 9th. Recently, I've been doing Disney spreads when I go to Disney. That, that's that been a good way for me to figure out a spread if I don't have any idea on what to do for a spread. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do here. I have a Disney spread here. Now, my brother and my sister's birthday is on the 30th, actually. Does it end in this month? Sometimes it rolls over into June. Oh, yeah, this. Okay. Or in July. Um, so I'm going to do, we're going to Disney this day, but I'm going to do a birthday spread because my sister actually, the stickers she designed are birthday themed. Um, so I'll use her stickers for her birthday week. That'll be cute. All right, cool. So I already have that amount figured out. So let's see. So I have this week to figure out. That week's good. Two. I only have two weeks to figure out. And oh, this is Memorial Day week. Maybe I'll do a Memorial Day spread or like a red, white, and blue spread or something. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Okay. Memorial Day. Or, yeah, I think I have some stickers from Live, Live Love Posh I can use for this week. So that would be nice to use those in a spread. Okay, so this is the only other week I have left. So 12th through the 18th. Okay. I'm just going to pull a random book to do for this week. Let me think. I have already used... I'm trying to think if I've already used all my Happy Planner books, which I think I have. Okay, I think I'm going to just do a spring spread. I don't know yet which book I'm going to pull from it, pull to do this spread. But I think I'm going to do a spring spread since this will be the last spring um, week, I think. Yeah, because then it goes into summer. And, you know, if I get a new book or if I get a new idea, I can always change it out. But for the most part, that's kind of where I'm going with for 
these spreads, the upcoming spreads. Like this one for sure won't change. This one won't change. This one could change. <laughs> because, yeah. And um, yeah, that one's gonna say Disney. I just don't know yet what Disney kind of spread I wanna do for that one. I think I'm good on that one. Okay, so yeah, pretty chill month. I'm trying to think ahead though. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I don't think so. Okay, so that is it for here. Now I'm gonna go into the social media part of my planner. I actually have to grab the planner pages for this to set it up. Okay, so I have my pages for this. I wanna start using these. I haven't been using these and I need to start using them. Okay, oh, the checklist. Okay, so just gonna stick these in here. Pop these in. June. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do. I got new little dot pens. I got these at Michael's. Now, I like these because they come in a bunch of different colors, but I prefer this brand. Oh, not sorry. Sorry, not that brand. This brand right here. My sister got me these off of Amazon. And um, yeah, they're called Zig Clean Color Dot. I just like the way they feel when you like push down. They have more give, so you can like really push down. These are kind of stiff, but I, I like the colors. So I'm gonna try these out on this one, except for this color. I really don't care for that color. Uh, let me grab some different ones. Okay, so let me take this out. I'm gonna do like a little key for myself on this side with these. Okay. So I just grab a random color, I always change it up. So this one's going to be plan with me. Okay. And then this one I'm gonna do, yeah, you can't really like push down and make it like wider, which I like the other ones better for that. Brilliant. Um, this one's going to be, that one pushes down really nice though. I guess some of them are a little stiffer than others. Budget, or like the cash envelope videos I've been doing. Oh jeez, I keep putting the cap back on that. Okay, I'm not putting the cap back on that. Um, pink, yeah, this one's stiff. Yes, that one is, a, I'm gonna do tip. And green is going to be set up. Okay. And I wanted to do one more category. Okay. I'm going to grab another color. I'll do this like, is this different? It's like more orangey, I guess. Mm. Yeah. That one's really like good. This one is um, how these are. Like you get a wider dot, which I like. Okay, so this one is gonna be keep the Patreon. Like any like Patreon related video, like that that means custom spreads. Um, my patrons usually pick a spread for me to do, like Patreon requests, something like that. So. Those are so far. Oh, yeah, those are the categories. I'm gonna use this week or this month, and then I'm gonna take this one, this blue one. So every Sunday, I always do a plan with me. So I just put a little dot like this, dot, dot, and then I'll just write in. I'm gonna write in classic plan with me. Plan with me. Classic plan with me. Oh my gosh, I can't spell. Plan with me. Uh, classic plan with me. Classic plan with me. 
And then for instance, um, the week I go to Disney is this weekend, the 11th, because I go on the 9th. So that means I have to do that spread on the, like I'm gonna post that spread on the 4th because I usually show it before the beginning of the week. So this is going to be Disney. Classic plan with me, Disney. Don't yet know what Disney kind of spread, but that one's gonna be Disney. This one's gonna be the summer. Summer. And then this one's going to be birthday. Wow, I cannot spell today. Birthday, okay. So that's kind of how I use this to map out what I plan on doing for the week. I also want to do like budget videos, like some cash envelope video on the weekend. So I think I might also, because I have like my cash envelope stuffing, I think I might do cash envelope stuffing on Sunday. So there'll be like two videos up. Cash envelope. Yeah, stuffing. I'll have that up too. Yeah, some more content coming because I'm now doing the budget stuff a little bit more and it helps me to make the content because I enjoy doing it, but also holds me accountable. So yeah, I appreciate you watching those videos. Uh, so, okay, that's good. I'm gonna put this back in my planner here. Go back in here. And then um, I will go through my account with all the affiliates I work with. I'm going to go through like any dates that I know things come out, which tend to be towards the end of the week. Uh, I can go through those and then, you know, put those down here. Tip videos I'm kind of going to sprinkle in here whenever I don't have anything else. Set up videos I usually do. Um, I try to do them towards the end of the month, but if not, like at the beginning, but then the end, just depends. So those will be sprinkled in too as well. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how I use my monthly. Now to go this part over here, I need to, it's mainly just working on this side. Actually, let me grab my... So what I'm going to do to all the weeks in June... I'm gonna cover this up. I love the teacher planner, like using it this way. And I'm gonna cover this up, okay. And I'm gonna write in, the only thing I don't like is I have to redate this whole thing. Or yeah, date it, which it is what it is. So I'm gonna find a book to cover these up because I want like boxes here. And then I'm just going to date this whole thing. So let me get the boxes. Okay, so I try to grab books that I really don't use too much, just so I can use the stickers. So um, I'm gonna use this one, because I have these. I might have other things in here. I'm gonna have to grab another book, because I don't think I have enough in here to use. But I thought maybe this will be a good book to use, just in general, for this week, or for the, yeah, for this, um month so I'm just gonna stick these here and what I do is I'm gonna write in into this YouTube like that and then I'll take this one Oops. this one I'm going to write in uh, patreon I need to pop stop putting this cap back on. Okay, I'm taking it away. And then I am going to do this one next. This one is going to be affiliates. Okay. And then let's see where you're going to blue. Blue is next. This one is going to be Instagram, okay, and then next I'll do this light pink, 
This one is going to be miscellaneous stuff. Okay. I don't think I have any other boxes to use though. And then I can use these headers. These headers are nice. I'll just kind of, should I do the same colors? Maybe I'll do it like rainbowy kind of style. Let's do list. And then I can do, get it done over here. I usually don't put stickers, but sometimes it's nice to have stickers in your spreads. Actually, it is nice to have stickers in your spreads. Uh, and we'll do the priorities. And a focus today. And then I can add more to the other side, you know, because I got all these, all these stickers. Okay. Let me see in here if I have any more boxes I can use that'll work in this. Oh, I do have these. Let's see. All right, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, I just need one more. One more box. Those little boxes. Oh, I have these, but not enough. I really don't care if it looks silly, like, and doesn't, like, 100% match, or, I mean, it'll match, it's all coming from the same book, but, um, it's more just about getting a box down so I can relabel this, and then also using stickers I don't, I don't really plan on using, so just using the stickers, you know, so. So, I'm going to take these, kind of do the same thing. And then I'll have this page completely done. I'm just going to do these every other one. Like so. And then I am going to grab the boxes here. Okay. So this blue one, I can do this one here. I know it says today, but again, I don't really mind that it says that, so... I'm just putting a box down. Put this one here. And then I'm just relabeling these. YouTube. Patreon. Affiliates. Oops. Instagram. And miscellaneous. I'm gonna go through a couple other books and relabel all of these off camera. All right, so I just set up everything. I'm just gonna go over what I used. So you saw I used, for the first half, I used Goals sticker book, and then I found Cozy Critters because there are some cute boxes that I can use from here. So those are the two that I pulled from to use to relabel this side over here, and then I used the Cozy I never use, I, I really not a fan of these like colorful boxes, like the fully colorful boxes. So I knew I could use those and I wouldn't miss them if I were to use, do this sticker book again. So, so yeah, just know what you, what you like, what you don't, and then just, just try to use if you, if you want to do something like this where you don't care what it looks like, you can use the stickers you don't like in here. Cause it's just, for me, this is all function. So that's how I like to use those stickers I know I'm never going to use. But yeah, that is going to be it for social media. And that is going to be it for this setup video. It's gotten My setups have gotten a lot smaller because I'm not using as many planners as I used to do. Because, uh, yeah, it just, you know, it happens. You go through your um, moments with planners. I used to use a mini planner. I haven't been using that. 
and I don't know if, if I'll go back to using it. I'm not sure. But for now, this has been working. Just having this one planner has been really nice to keep track of like the important things I need to get done. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching this setup. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one.